Good morning. Oh, that microphone, that microphone's good and loud. Good morning. My name is Bob Bainan, and I uh, welcome you and thank you for attending the KCOM Alumni Recognition Ceremony. I'm the Associate Vice President of University Advancement, and today we are to celebrate our 50, 30, and 25-year KCOM reunion classes. Now, those are the classes of 1969, 1989, and 1994, as well as those who graduated more than 50 years ago, and a few award recipients as well. First and foremost, I want to welcome our reunion alumni, gold medallion members, KOAA award nominees, CME attendees, ATSU students, faculty and staff, our international guests, and our ATSU Board of Trustees. Welcome. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you a 1984 graduate of ATSU KCOM and the president of AT Still University, Dr. Craig Phelps. Wow, what a uh, special, a special day. Thank you, alumni, for coming back and all the support that you've given the university. And uh, thank you for all the students that you've helped educate, but most importantly, all the patients in the communities that you helped uh, be uh, healthy and, uh, in Dr. Still's words, uh, improving their lives uh, and on a daily basis. So all the work that you've done and, and all the great times that you've had. Thank you for taking a few days to come back to Kirksville and, and spend some time with us. I hope our students uh, interact with you during some of the sessions uh, and you'll get to see what a wonderful group of students uh, are now going to carry the mantle for those that uh, are phasing out of the delivery of health care. For those of you that are kind of still in the middle of it, hang in there. Uh, we appreciate all that you do and it's, it's a, great, uh, a great calling to be an osteopathic physician. Uh, thank you. Like our faculty and staff from uh, ATSU to please stand up. If you'll all stand up for just a second so we can honor and recognize you, thank you for all that you do. <laughs> There's still a few faculty and staff from when I was in school. So uh, that dedication of, of a lifetime of working with future health professionals is, is pretty important. And I think sometimes it's easy to forget the impact that they have on uh, the lives of the graduates and their patients and then the students who go out into clinical rotations. So thank you, thank you very much. Uh, we're excited to have you here. We're going to call this evening the Chillibration instead of the Stillibration. <laughs> Little did we anticipate a high of the 40s uh, the, this early in October. Uh, so we hope as you uh, go throughout the day and you gather this evening across the street uh, that, uh, that you do remember to stay warm and uh, protect, uh, protect those areas because it's going to get a little cold and windy this evening, not unlike uh, Kirksville can be. So thank you for your patience in that area. Uh, we have a great board of trustees. Uh, historically, uh, AT Still, starting back with KCOM uh, and schools previously, uh, the strength of that university is based on the strength of its board members. And so when we've had uh, great board members, the university has accomplished and done amazing things. And we're going to introduce you to our board members, but I want to bring down our board chair uh, for introduction in a few words, Dr. Gary Wiltz. Yay, Dr. Wiltz. <laughs> so uh, Dr. Wiltz uh, is a physician committed, committed to community health. Uh, he is the director, medical director, CEO of a uh, large community health center based out of Franklin, Louisiana. So if you don't know where that is, it's a pretty amazing place. I got to go and visit. Uh, they have a number of clinics, and they educate a number of health professionals, and they educate our ATSU students from our physician assistant program in Arizona. And we're very blessed to have Dr. Wiltz with his community health center background. Uh, he serves in many, many key positions nationally and uh, very, very many key positions locally. And in fact, uh, if I recall, there's a big parish election, if I'm getting it correctly, going on. And uh, it's critical to the health care of the community. And you are heading back there to help uh, drive and, and make that a successful uh, time. So not only are physicians, as you are, involved in the day-to-day -day care of patients, but deeply embedded and involved in the communities. And all of our board members uh, function very highly in that area. So Dr. Wiltz. All right, thank you. Good morning. And indeed, it's an honor and privilege to be here with you. Uh, uh, and I think I speak for all the Board of uh, Trustees. And I'm going to ask at this time that they all stand up so they can be recognized. Um, I think I can say uh, on their behalf, this is the highlight 
of all the meetings that we have throughout the year to come to what we refer to ground zero where it all began and to walk on this campus. You can feel it uh, as soon as you get here. Uh, the spirit of A.T. still is alive and well. And uh, I know he would be very, very proud to see. Uh, I don't think even in his wildest dreams he could have imagined the impact that, uh, uh, you know, what he started would have. And uh, we consider it uh, a responsibility and honor and a privilege to, 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 to act in the function as we do as the Board of Trustees. And just know that you have our full support and we're extremely proud. Uh, I think all of us, uh, when we go and we, and a number of us belong to a number of boards, but by far this is the one that, uh, if, all, if any of you belong to boards, sometimes when you are about to go to those meetings, there's a bit of trepidation sometimes when you're about to go to it. That is something that we never experienced. Uh, we have a collegiality and a consensus model that has served us well. And you can see it reflected in all the work that you all do. We're extremely proud of, uh, of the work that uh, all of you, the faculty, staff, and the students that make AT still the institutions that, 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 that you are. And um, I think Craig probably shared that uh, uh, for the third year in a row, and I'll let you tell about the award that uh, AT still achieved, which is in and of itself just tremendous. Uh, and I'll let you talk just if they haven't known about that. I think it's embargoed, but I think it could be safe in this room. But thank you and uh, th uh, for all you do, and we look forward to meeting with you uh, on a personal basis. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, uh, so he's referring to uh, an award that we had won uh, two years previously, and, and we're getting a good feeling that uh, that award will be coming again this way, but officially we can't say anything until October 15th. You know, this is kind of one of those crazy rules. Uh, but basically, this award uh, looks at how the university is responding to societal needs, both in the areas of education and in the areas of our patient care centers reflected throughout the university. And like A.T. Still, who decided uh, to come to rural, right, rural Missouri, rural Kansas, rural Missouri, to set up uh, the school, to set up the practice to provide care and educational opportunities for people that at that time normally weren't allowed that, right? Most of Healthcare education during that time period occurred along the East Coast, right, when AT still developed some things, maybe in a few of the major cities coming this way. But basically, when you think about uh, the um, uh, Missouri River and, and West, there weren't very many opportunities. St. Louis had some, but you know, west of that river, there weren't many opportunities for healthcare providers. So the university is happy uh, to get what's called the HEAT Award, which talks about our ability to have a reflective community, to have providers who treat everyone and uh, welcome students from all different areas as, as we were students to come and experience uh, an education as a healthcare provider. So thank you very much. Now I did see Dr. Trombley walk in, so I think all of the deans that are currently here are here, so I'd like to introduce our deans uh, very quickly. Uh, Dr. Trombley is our dean of the Arizona School of Dentistry and Oral Health. Yay, Dr. Trombley. <laughs> Dr. McLeod is Dean of the Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health. And Dr. Wilson is our KCOM Dean. And you might say, well, why do we have PT and OT and dentistry and athletic training and audiology and master's programs and doctoral programs and 3,000 students and thousands of employees? And it's really about the mission of AT Still and the mission of the university. And these deans not only live it, uh, but they walk the talk and walk the walk. They are true believers in what AT Still and what AT Still's educational system put in place. So we're lucky because when we have a dental student, when we have a PT student or a PA student go through AT Still University, they leave believing in what we've believed in as physicians for many, many years. So it's extended the brand, it's ex extended the ability of the university to have strength and ballast, geographical diversity, program diversity, financial diversity. So ATSU, KCOM remain healthy for the next 127 years. And then we have some of our cabinet members. These are the folks that are working with our faculty and staff on a day-to-day -day basis. I think I saw Lori Haxton in the back of the room. Lori, if you'll stand up. And all of our vice presidents, Sean Summer, I saw. Who else is here? Good, Matt Heron, our legal counsel. Anybody else? Yay, Norman Gevitz gets in the front row. So that's how he got so smart. Uh, that T in that front row, right? Those are, the, those are the people who do well. And I think we have Clint, is Clint, I don't know if Clint made it over 
our, from our uh, diversity team. But, but thank you, our cabinet members. Uh, our board members leave their jobs, leave their families every 90 days. They actually contribute to be on the board financially, and they commit for nine years. So I always tell the story, you could have a nine-year-old, and by the time you rotate off the ATSU board, that, that young man or woman, uh, your son or daughter now, has graduated from high school. So that's how their commitment to this university runs so deep. So thank you again to our board. Bob, I'll let you take it away so we can honor these uh, wonderful alumni and others. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you, Drs. Phelps and Wiltz. We will now hear from three outstanding deans or representatives from our Missouri campus. First, Dr. Ma Margaret Wilson, a Kirksville native, a 1982 graduate of ATSU KCOM, and now the dean of the Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine. Please welcome Dr. Wilson. Thank you and, and welcome. Again, we're just so happy to see you all here today and to really share in this wonderful celebration of, of our campus, our school, our profession. Uh, special welcome to the classes of 69, 89, and 94. Hope you had a great time last night out at the uh, alumni dinner. Uh, and we, it, it makes us so you know, proud when we see our alums return and the accomplishments that they have uh, uh, done in their lives and the service that they have given. Thank you because that's what this uh, osteopathic profession is about, is service to our, not only our patients but our communities. And uh, it's amazing how it's grown, as, as it's been mentioned. The osteopathic profession has grown in leaps and bounds. And, and the message that Dr. Still first uh, articulated has been spread beyond the profession and beyond just this small community. Um, you know, we're doing great here at KSOM. We're so proud. We have the most wonderful students. We are so fortunate. We have just wonderful, bright, young, dedicated people, and, and the future is bright because of them. We have tremendous faculty that are dedicated to the uh, education and, and growth of our students, and then we send them out into the world and they become these alumni that we're so proud of. You know, I always uh, kind of call myself maybe the nerd of osteopathy. I mean, maybe Dr. Gevitz would uh, argue with that. But e <laughs> each year I try to do a, a quote because I think it's important to remember what this day is about. It's about Founders Day. It's about the vision that AT still had of, of what could be and, and what we could do differently in, in medicine and in healthcare. So this year's quote is a little more complicated than the usual, like, dig on, right, Dr. Gibbets? Uh, but but I, it really struck me, and I, I want you to just to re take a moment to reflect as I read it. You know, we know that A.T. still wrote a lot, right? He loved to write, and there's a lot of, of evidence out there. I dislike to write and only do so when I think my productions will go into the hands of kind-hearted geniuses who read not to find a book of quotations, but to go with the soul of the subject that is being explored for its merits, weigh all truths, and help bring its uses front for the good of man. I think he was talking to us, this generation, this generation, the next generation. He, we're we're the, the kind-hearted geniuses, hopefully, <laughs> that, that he was speaking to. And he said, don't, you know, don't just study and read, just to, to, don't look back at my my evidence, but, but go forth with the soul and really explore it and weigh the vision and the truths and the beliefs of osteopathic uh, philosophy and then use it for the good of man. And I, I hope we all remember what he envisioned of us and, and what he asked of us as we move forward as the next generations. And thank you. Thanks again for allowing me to be here today. Thank you, Dr. Wilson. Next, we have Katherine Adler, DHA, FACHE, and Associate Dean of Academic Success and Assessment. Kathy. Good morning. Um, I'm always excited to be here to see um, the history of AT still and, and be a part of it through the College of Graduate Health Studies. Um, we were founded. Um, in the late 1990s, like 1999, 
Um, and at that time, you know, we haven't been there that long, but um, we, were, we were founded on um, the history and the mission that Dr. Still put forward. And so we're very proud to be here. Um, currently, the College of Graduate Health Studies has about one-third of the student population at AT Still, even though you don't see us because we're virtual. And we're all over the nation. And um, very soon, we hope to be offering a new pathway um, for nurses to a nursing uh, doctrine of nursing pr practitioner. Um, we hope to hear about that very soon. And again, it's very innovative, and we're very excited to be here and to do that. So please um, enjoy your stay here uh, and try and stay warm. We're a little sorry. Uh, October got a little ahead of itself. but. <laughs> Summer kind of got a little behind, and so the wind, it's just been kind of a mess here. But uh, enjoy yourself, and, um, and thank you all for your support. Thank you, Dr. Adler. Next, we have Dwight E. McLeod, DDS and MS, and Dean of the Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health. Dr. McLeod. Thank you, Mr. Bannon. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of the administrators, faculty, students of Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health, I would like to welcome our alumni back to your alma mater and to our guests, I would like to welcome you to the Kirksville area. I would also like to thank all the alumni for this, their service and their dedication that they have worked really hard in making sure that there's access to good quality health care. Also, to continuing in the rich osteopathic tradition of A.T. Still University and A.T. Still. I think it's such a great thing when we look at overall healthcare in the nation that you guys are really working very hard to make sure that you improve the nation's health, and that's a very great thing. I'm really dedicated and committed to access to service, and this is really near and dear to my heart, and that's why I'm here as well as Dean of the Missouri School of Dentistry and Oral Health, because I'm a strong believer in the mission of this of AT Still University. And that being said, I this is a great occasion. I'm always happy to be here. I am very proud of those individuals who will be receiving awards, and so I would like to congratulate you. I also would like to thank you for your many years of service um, to the field, and also as we celebrate. Dr. Andrew Taylor Still. I hope that you'll continue to enjoy all the events surrounding Founders Day and enjoy your stay in the Kirksville area. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Dr. McLeod. You know, I think I thought I saw all of AT Still photos, and I'm sitting out there, and that is a wonderful photo, is it not? Courtesy of the museum, well stated. Okay, okay. Our next um, introduction is Rahim Sharif, a second year ATSU KCOM student and the Student Government Association Chair. Rahim. Hello, my name is Rahim Sharif and I'm currently a second year DO student. On behalf of all of ATSU students, current students, I would like to thank the alumni for taking time out of their very busy lives to join us and celebrate ATSU's Founders Day. It has been nearly 125 years since ATSU graduated its first class of 21 students in 1894. Today, there are thousands and thousands of alumni that can be found in every corner of the globe. No matter how far you've traveled, each and every one of you is part of our ATSU family. And we are very happy to welcome you back home. For more than 100 years, the tradition of excellence in medical education has endured and flourished at ATSU. ATSU still leads the pathway for continuing to teach the students the importance of integration of the comprehensive osteopathic tenets of whole person healthcare within their practice, whether it's locally or globally. While we value tradition here at ATSU, we simultaneously are always working towards being innovative and adapting to the changes in the world around us. Whether it's on a small scale, like using iPads on a daily basis to take our notes and take exams on, or whether it's more large scale, like participating in the Draving Human Patient Simulation Labs, where we, which contains computer-driven 
full-size mannequins, which deliver true-to-life scenarios where our students can practice again and again and again until the highest quality patient care becomes second nature. Just this week, the second years had the opportunity to help deliver babies, and we're looking forward to our patient simulator named Victoria, who will be delivering her thousandth baby, <laughs> which we're all very excited for. Not to mention, the school has integrated ultrasound within our curriculum so that all of our students are trained to use ultrasound in their medical practice practices, which makes us stand out in the future. There are only a few, these are only a few examples of how our school has made sure that our students who graduate from ATSU are not only prepared, but are competitive applicants for our future residencies. The balance of strong tradition and increasing innovation is a direct result of the generosity of our alumni who have chosen to provide a lasting legacy for ATSU. With that being said, I would like to welcome you all back to our campus and look forward to meeting each and every one of you. Thank you. Thank you, Raheem. All right. Dr. Joseph Novinger, a 1989 graduate of KCOM and the president-elect of the Kirksville Osteopathic Alumni Association, will now join me to recognize this year's KOAA Honors Excellence Award recipients. Dr. Novinger. Thanks, Bob. Well, I'm, uh, I'm very happy to be here uh, to represent the board uh, as we uh, recognize and, and I'll introduce all of our recipients this year and I, I can say that I've had the personal pleasure of working with each one of these people for, for several years and they're, they're all well deserved. Um, each year the KOAA recognizes alumni, employees and friends who have made significant contributions to KCOM, ATSU and osteopathic medicine. Detailed information about the entire 2019 KOAA award recipient panel is included in the KOA Honors Excellent Booklet displayed at the back of the room. It's my pleasure to share some of the highlights about the recipients being honored here today. We'll begin with the honorary KOAA membership. Honorary memberships in the Kirksville Osteopathic Alumni Association may be conferred by special action and approval of the KOAA Board of Directors upon persons who have rendered meritorious service to osteopathic education. This year's recipients are Kimberly Blackman, Jeremy Hauser, William Sexton, and Gene Sidwell. So we're going to start with Kim. Kim. Kim Blackman dedicated nearly 24 years to serving ATSU students and alumni through various roles across the university. She serves as Family Medicine Coordinator, Associate Director of Development, Director of the Still Opti, Director of Continuing Education, and most recently, Associate Director of Alumni Relations. She was part of numerous committees, including uh, Director of Alumni Relations, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> service for more than 10 years as co-chair in planning of Founders Day activities. Blackman notably led the continuing medical education accreditation submissions efforts for many years during which the team repeatedly received a perfect score, earning them accreditation with commendation. Blackman is passionate about her time at ATSU and the osteopathic profession. She is most grateful for the opportunities that allowed her to witness firsthand the excitement and growth of students. She cherishes the many lifelong relationships she built with alumni, students, and colleagues. Blackman earned an associate's degree from Truman State University, a Bachelor of Science from William Woods University, and completed several leadership programs throughout her professional career. She's been married to Wayne Blackman for more than 34 years. Together they have two adult sons, Josh, uh, who is married to Kelsey, and Jake, she enjoys spending time with her family as an avid University of Missouri football fan and enjoys watching the Kansas City Chiefs golf, reading mysteries, and cooking. Please join me in honoring Kim Blackman with honorary membership in the Kirksville Osteopathic Alumni Association. <laughs> Would you like to, are you supposed to give the award? <laughs> Congrats, congratulations. Thank you. Well, 
while she's getting her picture taken, we'll go ahead and, and continue. Dr. Jeremy Hauser joined the ATSU KCOM community in 2008. His service initially was in osteopathic research within the Still Research Institute, or SRI, and as an adjunct uh, faculty member, although he has since been the course director and lead instructor for a gross anatomy course. From 2013 to 2018, Dr. Hauser was the director of the Center of Mechanistic Studies for the SRI, supporting osteopathic research and it, as it pertained to diagnostic and treatment mechanisms. Most recently, he has taken an additional role co-chairing co the ATSU Interdisciplinary Biomedical Research Symposium. Dr. Hauser received his bachelor's degree in health education from the University of Iowa, his master's degree in biomechanics from the University of Nebraska at Omaha, his doctorate in applied neurosciences at the University of Houston, while also working in the neuroscience laboratory at NASA's Johnson Space Center. Dr. Hauser taught anatomy and neuroscience at Truman State University until his employment with ATSU KCOM. During his tenure at ATSU KCOM, Dr. Hauser has created his own multimedia dissector for instructing students in the task of cadaveric dissection and implemented the rotation of dissection teams across eight different cadavers throughout the year rather than experiencing only one cadaver. His collaboration has generated better cohesiveness between disciplines and has impacted the educational experience of ATSU students. Dr. Hauer's passion for, student te for teaching students is reflected in his receipt of numerous Max T. Gutenson Awards for outstanding teaching. That passion extends into Kirksville community where he is a member of the Kirksville R3 School Board of Education. Dr. Hauser, his wife Jennifer, have two sons, Cameron 15 and Grayson 12. It's my pleasure now to recognize Dr. Jeremy Hauser with an honorary membership in the Kirksville Osteopathic Alumni Association. Okay, Dr. William Bill Sexton has been actively engaged in teaching, research, and service as a faculty member in ATSU KCM Department of Physiology for more than 30 years. Sexton earned a bachelor's degree of zoology and master's degree in avian physiology from the University of California at Davis, a doctoral degree in physiology from K-State University, Kansas State, I'm sorry, and completed a postdoctoral fellowship in cardiovascular and muscle physiology in the Department of Biomedical Sciences at the University of Missouri-Columbia. Dr. Sexton is a fellow in the American College of Sports Medicine and a fellow of American Physiologic Society Cardiovascular Section. He has served as a chair and master of science in biomedical science programs at ATSU KCOM since 2003. He teaches cardiovascular and renal physiology as well as serving as course director for the medical physiology series and he teaches in the biomedical science program. Dr. Sexton is a recipient of the Max T. Gutenson Merit Award and A.T. Still Staff Award for Excellence in Teaching. Dr. Sexton has maintained an active research program with funding from the American Heart Association and Biomedical Sciences Program. He's authored 36 peer-reviewed publications and more than 75 abstracts for presentation at national meetings, in addition to mentoring 78 master's medical and undergraduate students. As chair of the ass assessment subcommittee, Dr. Sexton promotes active programmatic assessment at ATSU, KCOM, and the university. Through the curriculum committee, he was involved in the in introduction of electronic testing and shaping ATSU, KCOM's system-based curriculum. He also serves as a faculty sponsor for the sports medicine program and the PM and R clubs. Dr. Sexton and his wife, Dr. Trish Sexton, professor and associate dean for curriculum, are parents of Claire and Grace. In addition to his work, Bill is a coach of the Truman State men's rugby team and serves as USA Rugby at the regional level and national levels. He's an avid golfer and previously served as president of the Kirksville Country Club Board of Directors. Congratulations, Dr. Bill Sexton, on your presentation to the honorary member of the KOAA.
Gene Sidwell retired from ATSU in December of 2018 after 31 years of remarkable service. She received her Bachelor of Science and Education degree in mathematics from, from Northeast Missouri State University, now Truman State University. Her lifetime learning includes public school library certification, elementary teacher's life certificate, and a Master's of Arts in Library and Information Sciences at the University of Missouri. Sidwell began her tenure at the University of A.T. Still U Memorial Library in 1987. As director of A.T. Still Memorial Library, she established the Osteopathic Medical Reading Room and promoted the 3D print station to enhance education and research across the university. She served as advisor to ATSU KCOM's Pediatric Journal Club for 10 years and was a two-time recipient of the Excellence in Advising Award and Service and per Performance. Highlights of Stidwell's career include receiving certificate from Marine Biological Laboratory in Woods Hole, Massachusetts, and being invited participant of the Community Health Information Partnership Symposium hosted by Mid-Continental Regional Medical Library at the National Museum of Wildlife Art in Jackson Hole, Wyoming. She served in various leadership roles within the professional organizations throughout her career as well. While completing a one-year integrated advanced information management systems assistantship at the University of Missouri, Sidwell published an article in the Medical Reference Services Quarterly. She was co-authored of the abstract accepted for a presentation at the American Medical Informatics Association Spring Congress Information Technology and Community Health. From 1990 to 1992, Sidwell was project coordinator and instructor of an NLM grant traveling to 37 counties in Northeast Missouri teaching NLM's Grateful Med Search, providing Medline database access to unaffiliated health professionals. Sidwell and her husband David reside in Queen City. Their son Cole lives in Baldwin, Missouri and his, with his wife Sarah and Sidwell's two grandchildren, Jacob and Lena. We are proud to bestow honorary KOAA membership to Jean Sidwell. Okay, Living, Living a Tribute Award. The Living a Tribute Award was established by KOAA in 1969 to recognize and honor KCOM faculty members and administrators for their outstanding accomplishments and or long-term service to the college. This year's Living Tribute Award recipient is Dr. Lloyd Cleaver. <laughs> Not yet. There's, lo there's lots more, Lloyd. Uh, <laughs> We're starting with your birth. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Cleaver was born in Macon, Missouri and graduated from ATSU KCOM in 1976. After graduation, he completed his training at San Diego Navy Regional Medical Center and served with the U.S. Navy and Naval Reserves. Dr. Cleaver and his wife, Kathy, returned to Kirksville, Missouri in 1985 and founded Cleaver Dermatology Clinic in 1986. Dr. Cleaver has three sons who have joined him at Cleaver Dermatology, David, Jonathan, and Nathan. In 1991, he founded a dermatology residency training program and has served as program director until 2015. In that year, he founded the Mohs Surgery Fellowship and continues to serve as program director. Dr. Cleaver is currently a professor of dermatology at ATSU KCOM and assistant vice president of continuing education. He has been vice chair and is currently serving as secretary treasurer of the American Osteopathic Board of Dermatology. He also served as president of KOAA and president of uh, American Osteopathic College of Dermatology. Dr. Cleaver is board certified by the American Osteopathic Board of Dermatology in dermatology, Mohs surgery, and pediatric dermatology. He practices general dermatology, dermatological surgery, and cosmetic dermatology, including botulinum toxins, dermal fillers, and sclerotherapy. Outside of work, Dr. Cleaver immensely enjoys spending time with his grandchildren and takes great pleasure in aviation. Please help me recognize Dr. Lloyd Cleaver and this year's recipient of the Living Tribute Award for his lifetime of commitment to the osteopathic medicine and ATSU.
Thank you very, very much. I, I am honored by this award. I'm humbled by this award. Uh, there's lots of mentors I need to thank, like Stan Grog and Joe Carano and all of the great faculty that have been this way before. Uh, this is, uh, you know, KCOM is a huge family. You ask about what I got, uh, I was delivered by a DO, and I've never changed my family. My family is the osteopathic family. I've got three sons that are all actively involved in leadership positions in, in various uh, areas of the profession. I am thrilled with, uh, with their participation in that. I've got to thank my wife for allowing me to, Kathy, to uh, do all these silly things, go to Chicago countless times with the John Bowling and others, and uh, set through endless meetings, and, uh, but it has been a, a labor of love. Uh, I love this profession. Uh, I've got my other extended family, my staff here and, and residents. We've got dozens of residents with dozens of babies that have happened over the years. Um, and uh, it, it's been a, a great trip. Thank you very much. Uh, I would also like to quickly acknowledge recipients of additional 2019 KOAA Honors Excellent Awards. Uh, at the end of October, we'll formally recognize Dr. Howard Levine and Jason Haxton as recipients of the Distinguished Service Award during the ATSU Alumni and Friends Reception in conjunction with the American Osteopathic Association Osteopathic Medical Education Conference in Baltimore. Uh, I don't see Jason here. He usually stands out. For, oh, I do. <laughs> Jason, is everyone give him a quick round of applause? <laughs> he, Jason usually stands out in the room. Uh, uh, in addition, the 2019 Alumnus of the Year, Dr. Robert D. Giovanni, will be honored during this a similar reception at the American College of Osteopathic Internist Annual Conference in Phoenix, Arizona. So please join me one more time to, with a round of applause for all the award recipients. <laughs> Job, Dr. Novinger, thank you so much. It's now my pleasure to introduce you to our distinguished alumni and guests from the KCOM graduating classes of 1969, 1989, and 1994, the distinguished members of the ATSU KCOM Gold Medallion Club, and alumni from several other classes. Dr. Wilson will be presenting special recognition pins and medallions to each of our reunion class honorees. We will begin with the class of 1994. The class of 1994 is celebrating their 25-year class reunion. As I call your name, please come forward to receive your 25-year silver anniversary recognition pin from Dr. Wilson and pause for a photograph. First, John Carson. Dr. Carson's from Pineville, Louisiana. Spouse is, spouse is Samantha Carson, and children are William, John Jr., Grace, and Madeline. His personal hobbies include faith, family, fishing, and hunting, professional affiliations, ABFM and VA post, deployment and directorship. Thank you, Dr. Carson. Maria Kaufman from Harrisburg, Missouri. Spouse, David Spencer, DO. Children, Shaman, Starlight, and Samuel. Personal hobbies, my family, acro yoga, dance and arts, and outdoor activities. Professional affiliations, American Osteopathic Association, the AAO, Osteopathic Cranial Academy, Society European Osteopathy Cranian, AMOC, French Osteopathic Cranial Academy. Dr. Maria Kaufman. Next is Dr. Jonathan Colon from Jacksonville, Illinois. Spouse Michelle and children, Sarah, Matthew, Emily, Nathaniel, and Chloe. 
personal hobbies, spending time with family, fishing, and reading, professional affiliations, American Osteopathic Association, American Psychiatric Association, and the Southern Illinois Medical Association, serves as Chief Medical Officer and President of the medical staff at Choet Mental Health and Developmental Center, a State of Illinois DHS facility. You noted that his fondest memory was fishing with Scott Hyatt and other classmates. I'm, I'm wondering if he's got a fish story or two to tell. <laughs> Our next is Dr. Sherry Howell from Kansas City, Missouri. Spouse is Bill Baker. Children are Christopher and Alexander. Personal hobbies are quilting and gardening. Affiliations, Associate Professor of Family Medicine and Kansas City University of Medicine and Biosciences. American Osteopathic Association, the ACOFP, and MAOPS. The next is Mark Katsaros from Harrisburg, Missouri. Children, Shaman, Starlight, and Samuel. And actually, Samuel is here uh, representing uh, his father and will accept his father's recognition pin. So please welcome Samuel. Our next person is Dr. Christy Katz. Uh, she is from Jameson, Pennsylvania, and spouse is the late Daniel Gallagher. Children are Danielle, Christopher, and Kirsten. Personal hobbies are travel and in professional affiliations, the AOA, the ACO, ACOPFP, and POMA. Dr. Christy Katz. Next is Dr. Kelly McQueen from Kingsport, Tennessee. Spouse is Michael. Children, Carrie, Katie, and Kevin. Personal hobbies include photography and travel, and professional affiliations, the AHFP and the TAFP. Dr. Kelly McQueen. Next from the class of 1994 is Dr. Gary Morty from Flemington, New Jersey. Spouse is Charmel and children Douglas, Christina, and Gabrielle. Personal hobbies include traveling and attending New Jersey Devils hockey games with the family. Professional affiliations, the AOA, ACOFP, and the ACEP. Fondest memory of Kirksville were parties at the Atlas Club and drinks at the tap room. I remember those two. <laughs> Our next is Dr. Eric Pulaski from Sebring, Florida. Personal hobbies include enjoys cooking, traveling, scuba diving, and snorkeling. Professional affiliations, the American College of Osteopathic Family Physicians and Florida Osteopathic Medical Association. Fondest memory of Kirksville, spending evenings in the library after class with friends and colleagues studying for exams. Next is Dr. David Patterson from Flat Rock, Michigan. Uh, spouse Ashley, children Luke, Renee, Josephine, and Zachary. Personal hobbies, enjoys nature, hiking, kayaking, bicycling, etc., and enhancing my kids' athletic performance by using cranial manipulations and power crystals. <laughs> There's a kid's rebuttal later on. 
professional affiliations, the American Osteopathic Association, fondest memory of Kirksville, watching our class play Gunner Bingo, listening to Dr. Snyder snort in between his laughter, <laughs> getting Dr. Who up on stage in front of our class, playing volleyball with the fighting Nazarenes, listening to Mary Daly tell us that she had, she had that disease, <laughs> getting fouled out of basketball by classmate Clark Ator, and going on road trips with Theron Tilgener. <laughs> Which is a great segue to introduce Dr. Theron Tilgener. <laughs> Lake Havasu City, Arizona, spouse named Summer and children, one dog Frodo. Personal hobbies, bourbon and cigar aficionado, <laughs> green egg barbecue cult member, MAGA, black diamond snow skier, culinary enthusiast expert, and still with my first wife. <laughs> Professional affiliations, American Osteopathic Academy, American Osteopathic Board of Orthopedic Surgeons, clinical instructor, Mojave Community College, and cigar aficionado member. Next from the class of 1994, Dr. Michael Whitlock from Louisiana, Missouri, spouse Cindy, children Jeremy and Cassandra, personal hobbies, hunting, fishing, and antiquing, professional affiliations, Mayops, Dr. Michael Whitlock. Please join me in recognizing all of our 25-year graduates. Now, the class of 1989 is celebrating their 30-year class reunion. As I call your name, please come forward to receive your 30-year anniversary pin from Dr. Wilson and pause for a photograph. So, I think we've seen this person before, but let's give him a warm welcome, Dr. Joseph Novinger from Kirksville, Missouri. Spouse, Sandra, children, Cassandra, Natalie, and Annalise. Personal hobbies, fishing, hunting, golfing, and cooking. Professional affiliations, clinical faculty member of KCOM since 2009. KCOM Family Medical Department Chair currently, and KOAA Board Member, third term, Dr. Nobger. <laughs> also from the class of 1989, Kevin O'Connor from Greenville, Michigan. Spouse, Jewel, and children, Kyle and Alec. Personal hobbies include car collector, travel, fishing, and outdoor activities. Dr. O'Connor. <laughs> also from the class of 1989, John Sutton from Karen City, Nevada. Personal hobbies, love to travel, enjoy attending medical meetings, and take an extra day for play and touring. Professional affiliations, the American College of Osteopathic Internists, past president. Nevada Chapter of American Association of Clinical Endocrinologists, President, Kirksville Osteopathic Alumni Association Board of Directors, National Board of Osteopathic Medical Examiners, Item Writer, and Content Expert Endocrinology. Fondest memory of Kirksville, elected as Class of 1989 President and nicknamed Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> Please join me in recognizing our 30-year graduates. Now the class of 1969 is celebrating their 50-year class reunion. As I call your name, please come forward to receive your 50-year anniversary gold medallion and pin from Dr. Wilson and pause for a photograph. First, Dr. Robert Baker from Broken Arrow, Oklahoma. Personal hobbies, croquet, theater, whippets, and reading. Professional affiliations, the American Academy of Ophthalmology, a C W O H N S. Dr. Robert Baker. <laughs> also from the class of 1969, Dr. John Beckert from Cahoka, Missouri. 
Personal hobbies and my favorite two, fishing. <laughs> Professional affiliations, American Osteopathic Association, Dr. John Deckert. I should add, I think I missed this, that Wife is Nadine, and children are Bridget and Benjamin. All right, our next is Dr. John Bowling from Trophy Club, Texas. Spouse, Janet, and children, Jack, James, and Jason. Personal hobbies, travel, golf, reading, and college sports. Professional affiliations, the AOA, ACOFP, OOA, TOMA, National Texas Rural Health Associations, Family Medicine Certification Board, and AOBFP, the fondest memory of Kirksville, being newly married and beginning our 54 years together in Kirksville. That's a story familiar to many graduates here. So good job, Dr. Bowling. <laughs> our next from 1969, Dr. Arthur Brown from Brighton, Michigan. Spouse Joyce, children, L. April and Shannon and Wesley. Personal hobbies include golf, pickleball, watching our grandchildren play football, lacrosse, wrestling, and gymnastics. Playing the piano, violin, saxophone, and oboe. Personal affiliations, retired, family practice, fondest memory of Kirksville, L. April Gago, MD, infertility and reproductive incrinologist was born at KCOM Hospital on April 13, 1969. Our next graduate is Dr. Thomas Conklin of Stilger, Oklahoma. Spouse, Flo, children, Kelly, Trey, and Tara. Personal hobbies, TV horse racing and ranching. Professional affiliations, AAO, OOA, Oklahoma. Dr. Tom Conklin. Our next is Dr. Robert Cruz from Oakville, Illinois. Spouse is Deborah. Children, Jennifer, Rachel, Rebecca, and Matthew. Personal hobbies, family genealogy. Yay, I love that stuff. And bike riding. Personal affiliations, Fellowship and attending Cleveland Clinic, Baylor College of Medicine, Texas, Children's Hospital, Children's Mercy Hospital, Kansas City, University of Illinois College of Medicine at Peoria. Dr. Robert Cruz. <laughs> Next is Dr. Gerald Deves from Montgomery City, Missouri. Spouse, Sandra. Children, Stephen, Brian, Timothy, and Aaron. Personal hobbies include gardening, mowing, and travel, and professional affiliations, MAYOPS, and CMOA. Dr. Gerald Deves. Next from the class of 1969, Dr. Russ Gambler from Arlington, Texas. Spouse, Jean. Children, Mark and Colin. Personal hobbies, environmentalism, humanism, travel, tennis, pickleball, trail running, off-road biking, swimming, yoga, Pilates, and married for 48 years. <laughs> Professional... Yes, please. Professional affiliations, Fort Worth Sierra Club, Legislative Director, City of Arlington Parks and Recreation Board Member, Retired Professor Emeritus, OMM at PCOM, and Habitat for Humanities Volunteer. Fondest memory of Kirksville as a senior reading the note taped to the door of the Wabash, of the Wabash General, reading, Gertie, when you return from your walk, go to the new nursing home. Next from the 1969 class, William Gerchik from Mesa, Arizona. 
Dr. Gerchik's spouse, Maggie, and children, Brandy, Billy, and the late Carrie and Joey. Personal hobbies include writing, going to the gym, attending sporting events, shooting hoops, instructing kids in baseball, basketball, playing with grandchildren, 25, 23, 21, 19, 12, 9, and 25 months, and 12 months. Professional affiliations, the American Osteopathic Academy of Sports Medicine, Arizona Osteopathic Medical Association, and the American Osteopathic Association. Dr. William Gertrude. <laughs> Next from the class of 1969, Dr. Farrell Moots from Kirksville, Missouri here. Spouse Sherry and children, Annie, Tracy, Carmen, and Kimberly. Personal hobbies, fishing, and I can tell you it's not, a, it's not a story. He actually catches really big fish. I've seen them. Gardening and antiques, professional affiliations, American Osteopathic Association, Mayops, and the American Medical Association. Dr. Farrell Moots. <laughs> Class of 1969, Joseph Caranto from Macon, Missouri. Spouse, Gail Lynn and children, Jason and Megan. Personal hobbies include children and grandchildren, travel with gay, and golf. I'm a certified golf nut. <laughs> Professional affiliations, board certified osteopathic family practice, fondest memory of Kirksville, the Duke, knowing us only by number, then calling me Joe during a conversation while he was umping a spring softball game. <laughs> Made me feel special because he was a fantastic teacher and a nice man, Dr. Caranto. <laughs> Next is Dr. George Windsor from Windsor, Missouri. Spouse Carolyn, children Bryce, Amy, and Julie. Personal hobbies, fishing. I think we ought to have a fishing tournament. <laughs> Professional affiliations, American Osteopathic Association, Mayops, Chair of the ATSU Board of Trustees for four years and member of the Board of Trustees for ATSU for 18 years. Dr. George Windsor. Please join me in recognizing all of our new gold medallion recipients. Now, we may have alumni who received their gold medallion recognition in previous years who are with us today as well. If you are a previous gold medallion, gra gold medallion graduate, we ask that you please stand so we can recognize you now. Oh, sure, the one year I had that in the script. All right, it must have been the weather that kept them away. In addition, we'd like to have you join, join us for a moment of silence right now as we remember the alumni from the honored classes of 1969, 1989, and 1994 who have passed away. They're certainly here in our thoughts. And to let you know that there will be a special ceremony tomorrow. And if you visit it with Melody Chambers, she'll tell you more details about that. But it'll be tomorrow late morning. We had the pleasure of having alumni from numerous other KCOM classes join us this week for CME and other programs. We thank all for coming back to Founders Day as well. All of these alumni have had support systems along their journey. And we would be remiss not to recognize these important partners. Would still partners family members and guests celebrating their loved one's recognition, please stand. Let us extend a special thank you for your ongoing support. Please stand so we can recognize you. Thank you again to all of our alumni. We're honored to have you back on campus. Each one of you has left a tremendous legacy for generations of KCOM students and graduates to emulate. We are humbled by your many years of dedication to your patients, your college, and the osteopathic profession. I would like to extend a special thanks to the Founders Day planning team members led by co-chairs
Kristen Blunk and Kelly Kirkland. Additionally, our appreciation goes out to my university advancement colleagues and the continuing education program team. As we disperse for lunch, I ask that reunion participants and awardees and their guests, Steve, please stay seated. We're going to be taking some photos immediately after this meeting. Uh, the CME attendees, Board of Trustees, and Alumni Luncheon will be head, held in the Centennial Commons, located just outside the classroom and around the doors to your right. For those of you who would like to join us for the virtual campus walking and Kirksville bus tours, we will be meeting back here at 1 p.m. And some of the things that Sharif talked, or yes, Sharif talked about, Raheem, I'm sorry, <laughs> okay, that's your last name. Raheem talked about, we're actually going to experience on a tour. So we encourage you to come back and see some of the simulations and, and things that our students have access to today that perhaps you guys didn't have access to back then. So thank you all for participating in the alumni recognition ceremony. We'll see you throughout the rest of the day and tomorrow during your stay. Thank you and welcome.